This is the JTV Caribbean News, I'm Sean Rose. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank has rejected suggestions by the US-based international ratings agency Moody's Investor Services for a devaluation of the Eastern Caribbean dollar within the next five years. The EC dollar serves as a common currency for the seven member countries of the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS. Moody's had recommended the devaluation of the currency or that the OECS member countries adopt the US dollar in an effort to address what it described as a debt crisis in the region. However, Managing Director of the ECCB, Jennifer Nero, said devaluation is not on the cards and that there has been substantial analysis done on the matter of the value of the EC dollar. President of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of the Eastern Caribbean, Frank Myers, has also dismissed the call for devaluation. He said devaluation of the EC dollar would not benefit the region. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is based in St. Kitts. Caribbean community CARICOM countries that support the People's Republic of China's One China policy are to benefit from three billion U.S. dollars in concessional loans from that country. Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Suriname, Montserrat, Guyana, Barbados, the Bahamas, Grenada, Dominica, and Antigua and Barbuda support the One China policy, in which the People's Republic of China does not recognize a separate entity called the Republic of China, which administers Taiwan. Belize, Haiti, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia and St. Kitts and the Nevis maintain relations with Taiwan. Trinidad and Tobago Prime Minister Kamlad Prasad Bisesa informed the media of the latest financial assistance being offered by the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, after she attended a luncheon held at the Hilton Trinidad, which featured an address from Xi while he was in TNT on a three-day state visit. The recent meeting between Barbados Prime Minister Frendel Stewart and China President Xi Jinping included discussions about finalizing an air services agreement between the two countries. The two leaders met during Xi's visit to Trinidad and Tobago. Prime Minister Stewart said the Chinese president acknowledged that Chinese are traveling much more now than at any other time in the country's history and are much more interested in visiting places like the Caribbean. And it is important that any stumbling blocks be removed with as much haste as possible. The two sides also looked at advertising Barbados as a tourist destination in Mandarin. CARICOM leaders are being urged to support a loan application by the regional airline LIAT for funds to undertake a refleeting exercise so as to sustain its operations and improve services. A CARICOM secretariat statement said that regional transport ministers who met in St. Vincent and the Grenadines recently have agreed to put forward to the regional leaders a proposal that they support the LIAT loan application to the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB. The statement gave no details regarding the cost of the refleeting exercise, but LIAT, which flies to 21 destinations in the region and has 1,000 flights weekly, said it was seeking to acquire French-made 48 and 63-seater aircraft. Organizers of the first-ever Caribbean Premier League say they were overwhelmed by regional and international response to Wednesday's draft ahead of the tournament, which starts next month. Officials have reported that the CPL website was blown away by thousands of visitors, which caused a temporary slowdown for a short period. The inaugural Caribbean Premier League starts on July 13 in Barbados and concludes on August 24 in Trinidad. The CPL is expected to draw millions of viewers from around the globe as six franchise teams from across the region battle it out for a place in the final on August 24 in Port of Spain, Trinidad. TGCL will be extending its sponsorship of West Indies cricket for three years, the company announced on Tuesday, to bring its sponsorship of Caribbean cricket to September 2016. The company will retain its title as team sponsor. Digicel Group CEO Colm Delves and West Indies Cricket Board President Dave Cameron signed the agreement at Digicel's regional headquarters in Kingston, Jamaica. Last week, Digicel announced an individual sponsorship of Jamaica's Marlon Samuels. Digicel has also been announced as major sponsors for the upcoming WICB partnership with Caribbean Premier League Limited. For the JTV Caribbean News, Sean Rose. And coming up next on JTV News. Students debate for junior tourism minister title. BVI Health Services Authority proposes a new higher fee structure as the organization copes with paying for medicine and supplies. 
A cancer prevention and control program is being proposed in partnership with private health care providers. King Garden Bay business operators talk about the way forward for the BVI Music Fest. And hundreds of fans flock to the Eo Shirley Recreation Grounds for the historical BVI Twilight Track Meet. The crowd is certainly getting excited. And this young man Ray has won a monster leg. 